Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 19th, 2022. Well, yesterday, doggone it, I suggested the possibility that we should watch for that potential pop and drop. Unfortunately, that's what we ended up catching. And we um, also left behind some concerning candle patterns that we'll have to be respecting here this morning at price resistance. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today. If you take a look, we um, ended up, we gapped up strongly yesterday with a, a lot of exuberance um, in, in the morning market, and that actually pinned our T2122 indicator act right at 100. And then those sellers just kind of gradually started to come in. Um, what um, There's a couple things here that I think are pretty interesting. First off, we uh, popped right into that resistance um, in the chart, popped right into that downtrend resistance, and it found some bears willing to defend. And we're trying to pump that up again here this morning. But all is not lost here. If you know Notice we still have that little higher low of hope. We've got a little bit of price support right in here. So it really is only going to depend. A bearish engulfing candle is going to require the bears um, have that ability to follow through to the downside. If they can't follow through, if the bulls defend here, well, I'm not sure we can read a whole lot into that uh, candle, except that resistance is there and we should be watching and respecting that resistance level for those potential, for that potential that the bears could re-engage at that area. Now, so we're probably gonna come um, down to the data that we received today. So we'll wanna watch that closely. Now, also keep in mind that um, we struggled against that 50-day moving average. So we, we still have those technical um, issues here in the chart that we need to deal with. So keep a close eye on that. Our SPY, very much the same popped right up into that same kind of resistance level. Unfortunately, it didn't quite make it all the way up there to that resistance high. Um, we, we struggled with this little area of resistance in the chart. Now, keeping in mind, we still have some price support in here, and we still have this upside trend kind of trying to hold or give us, provide us that hope, but we'll want to maintain that respect to the price resistance and downtrend in the chart as we try to bounce back up here this morning and tried to shake that bearish engulfing candle off and say, ah, it didn't matter. So watch that carefully. Again, our technicals here remain bearish. We have not been able to defeat those yet. So we still have some work here to do if those bulls um, intend to break us out of this downtrend. On the QQQ, we have a better situation here. If you'll notice here in the Qs, we've been holding these higher lows. There's just tremendous speculation going on in these um, uh, big tech um, earnings reports. Everyone seems to be thinking that the big techs are just going to smoke earnings. And I got to tell you guys, I don't have that same confidence. As a matter of fact, I would be very, very careful heading into earnings reports of the big techs. That's just me. You do you. But that is something that I am concerned about. Now, as we look at this chart, you can see we've got this wedging pattern in here. We did um, uh, fail at this price resistance, putting in a bearish engulfing candle. So as we continue out this wedge, uh, again, if we have follow through, if the bears can push down from here, that could be a problem. But if we can hold and consolidate right in this area, hold that higher low, then we may have that opportunity that we could um, uh, break through 
um, the downtrend here in this chart and break through some resistance levels. Keeping in mind, we popped above that 50 day moving average yesterday, but we're unable to hold it at the close. And there's tremendous speculation trying to pump the market back up this morning. So be careful and watch for the potential that we could see another pop and drop if we cannot find that enough energy to push through or if those bears prove to be strong enough to um, defend those resistance levels in the chart. Now let's take a look at our Russell IWM. Um, also very similar pattern, pressing into the downtrend, struggling at price resistance, trying to hold onto some to some support, the hope of a little higher low in there. So we still have some work here to do and our um, technicals here remain bearish with a failure at the 50 day moving average. So keep a close eye on that. The bulls are fighting, but those bears um, remain a little bit tenacious as we run through these earnings reports that there is tremendous uncertainty about them. Let's take a look at our uh, VIX. Now our VIX pushed down um, hard on Friday and we tried to move lower um, um, yesterday um, and but boy that on that gap up but it didn't break the low which was interesting we ended up the day with kind of a uh, go nowhere VIX here in the chart um, noticing that we're kind of hanging on to some price support our downtrend does remain in effect here on that chart it really all depends on how this data comes out how we react to that today whether or not we're going to continue to move on lower or if we're going to break higher. One thing I will say is there seems to be a massive amount of speculation and confidence that earnings are just going to um, be way better than I think um, the market itself um, would expect. And if you saw Morgan Stanley out there saying, hey, even with earnings, we're probably going down um, yet in this market, there's a lot of um, amazing speculation going on here, pumping up in the pre-market um, around these earnings and getting people to jump long. And that may be just the opportunity. If folks like Morgan Stanley and those folks think that the market's going lower, imagine that possibility that they are engineering the, the pop in the morning to get people to run in and buy and they have somebody to sell to. So think carefully about that before you just chase into stocks right at price resistance levels in their charts. Now let's take a look at our T2122. Now T2122 um, gave, um, we popped up yesterday, right? And we were clear up here. We were actually pegged at 100 um, um, at yesterday's exuberant open. And then of course, by the end of the day, pulling back. So as you can see, if we can find that reason for bullishness, we have some upside opportunity. We could retest those highs up there in the chart. But please keep in mind, we are extending this market now um, just a little bit if we push up in here and then we run the risk of that pop and drop or that pullback, um, just as I suggested yesterday. So watch that closely. T2122 is not, um, it, it is not an indicator that really fails often. Um, it tells us when we're overbought and it tells us when we're oversold. So we still have that possibility when we can push up here but um, just keep in mind that it, it also indicates that once we're up here, we have that high probability that we could pull back. So just pay attention to that. If the bears find a reason for inspiration, um, then we can push down here. And by the way, I mentioned this yesterday in the right way options room. If you guys are not using the TC2000 indicator, if you guys find this to be useful, you can certainly continue to come over here and watch the morning prep videos. I do appreciate that. But by golly, it's, it's pretty darn cheap software to um, have an indicator that tells us when we're overbought or oversold. It might be worth uh, looking into that as an investment into your trading. So think carefully about that. And then if we take a look at um, T2107, 
T2107, well, doggone it, it just really didn't perform yesterday. The number of stocks pushing above the 200-day moving average, it was just kind of, yeah, um, nothing really happened there. Kind of interesting. And we're still struggling with price resistance and downtrend. But the good news is we haven't made new lows. But it's pretty tough to get real excited about a bullish move with, um, you know, less than 17% of the stocks holding above their 200 day. And if we take a look at our T2108, T2108 responded better yesterday, um, but not great. As you can see, we're struggling against these price resistance levels in the chart. Um, at least at this point, not able to push through. And we still have this downtrend, the overall long downtrend in play as well. So you'll want to keep an eye on that. It just didn't perform like you would have thought it should have with such a big gap yesterday. Now let's take a look at our T2101. Now T2101 um, is not providing us the best of data here this morning. Notice we are struggling with some price resistance here. We're trying to maintain some bullishness in the market for sure. But unfortunately, when we look at our index charts, um, we're, um, we're not doing very well when it comes to volume. Notice that yesterday with that big move, all of that buying and selling that happened, our volume remains incredibly low. So I think that's a warning sign here as well, guys, that the institutions may be getting people to jump in these pre-market moves and then they're not following through with activity to the upside. There doesn't seem to be that massive confidence that we would like to see to really say this is a bottom and we're starting to turn over to the to the upside. Now that may be the uncertainty of all the earnings out there um, and um, economic data still coming our way, but let's keep a close eye on that. Um, there are some issues here that are raising some red flags. If we take a look at um, our earnings calendar, well, let's take a look at our economic calendar here first. Our economic calendar Oops, there it is. Our economic calendar, we have housing starts and permits on here this morning. Now we know that can be a market mover. Um, interestingly enough, the consensus, the Econo Day consensus anyway, has this showing that we should see an improvement of housing starts and permits. But if you saw those builder confidence numbers yesterday, eh, that might be a little bit of a stretch. So kind of keep an eye on that. If that comes in at a miss, that could certainly um, add a little pressure um, or a little bit of inspiration for those bears to be pushing here. And um, if you've been checking on the situation in China, China's in a real desperate situation right now. As a matter of fact, there are some serious concerns that major banks could begin to default because so many folks are backing away from their housing um, over there and so many challenges in that uh, that market over there. So watch that closely. Remember, we kicked off the um, subprime um, loan defaults in 2008. It looks like it could be China that triggers that. And um, I would expect that to spread if China does run into that problem. So watch that closely on those housing numbers. And then let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings we have over uh, right around 20 companies on the calendar today notables for this morning and by the way guys remember i can't cover all of the notables as we continue to ramp up on these numbers so if you want to catch all the notables here make sure you click the link just below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list of notable reports for today so first off um We've got um, LA Financial that we'll be reporting today. Um, looks like they're moving a little bit lower here this morning already. Um, CALM, um, we've got some food stocks that we'll be reporting. We've got Citizens Financial um, that we'll want to be paying attention to. Looks like they're trying to move up. But we've got some, uh, another, a few other things mixed in here. We've got J&J. &J that'll be reporting. We've got a Hasbro 
that's going to be reporting today. We've got um, Lockheed Martin. Ooh, that's a big ugly right there on Lockheed Martin this morning in the pre-market. Um, we're going to hear from one of our first big techs um, tonight that's a market moving tech and that would be Netflix. Remember Netflix is suggesting or they suggested in the last report that they could see as many as 2 million subscriber losses in this quarter. So be careful and brace for that. I wouldn't overly speculate on this chart because the company itself is saying, hey, this could be a challenging quarter for us. So watch that close. So once again, guys, if you want to catch the full list of notables, make sure you click that link below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the blog. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon. When it pops up, so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, then if you could also do me that favor and click those thumbs up buttons and leave that brief uh, comment, that helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you so much. I truly appreciate um, um, everyone um, um, supporting the channel the way they have. We continue to grow. Um, and I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to do your own due diligence. You're going to have to be really, really careful in here because with all of these earnings reports, anything is possible. And we could expect some wild gyrations in price as we continue to catch all of this data and the uncertainty of the economic data also adding some pressure in there on that volatility. So let's take a look at a few of these. Now you guys remember um, yesterday um, I talked a little bit about um, whoops, Etsy um, to keep an eye on Etsy and well for Pete's sake there we go. If I could learn to type one of these days, that would help. Um, if you take a look right in here, um, Etsy continuing to hold up in that pattern. It tried to pop yesterday, but wasn't quite able to get her going um, as that selling came in. We're holding in here on this nice supporting pattern. So watch that carefully. I think if that continues to slide out here toward the trend, there may be an opportunity in here, but you're going to want to be careful. As, uh, as I point that out, I want to also point out this. Um, this is going to report here in a few days. So that may mess up this potential trade altogether. And unfortunately, we have a lot of those that are showing that kind of situation where we're trying to show bullishness, but we're heading in on those big earnings reports soon. Take a look at um, BMY. If you guys remember BMY, I talked about this as a potential short, a failure at the 50 day moving average. Well, that certainly played out yesterday um, with that failure in the chart. And if you take a look at that price action in here, certainly um, a big resistance area in that chart that we are reacting to negatively. We fell below our 50 day moving average rally back to it and we see those sellers. Now the big question here on BMY is will it follow through further to the downside? Will we come back down and test this area in the chart or will we turn around and bounce back up? Watch that carefully here this morning, but BMY definitely not looking all that stellar here at the moment. Um, once again, 727, we're going to have that earnings report up here. So you're going to have to be on your toes on these trades um, with all of this um, volatility that we see in the market. Let's take a look at stock like Microsoft. Now Microsoft also um, popped and dropped yesterday and putting in a bearish engulfing candle. And one of the things I want to point out here, a lot of these big techs are getting tremendous speculation into them. And I want to caution everyone to be careful with these because if you'll notice right here in this chart, Right now, Microsoft sets up as another potential short. It broke this support level, rallied back to resistance, and now shows a bearish engulfing uh, 
uh, candle and a potential failure. Now, I don't want to suggest that Microsoft is going to fail on its earnings reports. It's one of those great companies that just consistently does a pretty darn good job. But at the same time, um, don't speculate that you think that Microsoft is going to be a great report because we don't know that with the uncertainty that we're seeing in the market. So kind of keep that in mind. You could trade this up until that earnings report, but expect a big volatile move on this earnings. And if it happens to miss, look for Microsoft to get tremendously punished. Or if they actually hit but guide lower, um, it could get tremendously punished. So be careful here on some of these big tech stocks. And I'm going to say the same when I look at stocks like AMD. Nice little rally up here in the chart. I want you to notice we've got a little higher low in here. There's been tons of tons of reports that, oh, AMD is so undervalued. This thing should be way higher, should be 50% higher, all kinds of speculation out there. And then we just kept selling. So um, make sure you res respect these price resistance levels in the chart. And remember that as bonds continue to rise, creating that, that really high potential of recession, remember we got a GDP number coming next week, um, um, tech companies struggle against those high bonds because they utilize um, that capital so heavily in their research and development and advancement. So watch that carefully as these stocks move up into these resistance levels and respect them. Now, again, on the long side, there are quite a few companies out there putting in these patterns that we call rounded bottom breakout patterns. Um, and there are quite a few of those out there in the chart. Take a look at Dash. DoorDash looking pretty good here in that bullish move, holding up here above its 50-day moving average, if you, as you can see. Still struggling against a little bit of price resistance, and there are quite a few stocks out there in that pattern. Um, as you guys know, I've been talking about Etsy. I've been talking about Snow. Um, Snow is in that in that pattern, we have um, Rivian um, in that pattern. There's lots and lots of these out there trying to break that higher. Even stocks like Walmart trying to come up through that 50-day uh, moving average. And now we need to prove whether or not we can hold that as support. And then we can see that opportunity of moving on higher. So quite a few of those stocks giving us that hope that we might catch a little bit of rally. But we will want to continue to remember as long as we continue to see prices failing along that 50-day moving average, we have to be cautious and respect the resistance levels in the chart. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all the very, very best. Thank you so much for being here today. I do truly appreciate it. Hope you got something out of this video, and I want to wish you an awesome, awesome day. Um, I wish you all the best.